Hey there everyone, how are you doing? Joe Marin here from MobileCoverJoe.com. In this episode of Mobile Cup of Joe, I'm going to be unboxing the Barnes & Noble Nook HD tablet. But before I go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over and sit on down. Take a swig for our Mobile Cup of Joe. Alright. Before we get too far in this unboxing video, I'd like to give a big thank you and shout out to our friends over at Barnes & Noble for hooking us up with the Barnes & Noble Nook HD tablet. Uh, so because of companies like Barnes & Noble that send us their products to unbox and review for you guys, our fans, so big thanks to Barnes & Noble for the Nook HD and let's get started with this unboxing video. So on the front of the box it says Nook HD, incredible reading and entertainment, and below that you have a picture of the Nook HD right there in all its glory. On the left side of the box and on the right side looks like we have absolutely nothing. On the back it says amazing HD screen, highest resolution ever on a 7 inch tablet. This is a one of a kind tablet, it's designed for you know, your magazines, your movies, TV shows, apps and all that. Then you've got another picture of the Nook HD. So let's go ahead and open the box and voila, there you go, you've got the Nook HD. Let's go ahead and pop her out of the box. And a first impression, holding it for the very first time, uh, feels very nice in the hand, actually. I'm actually uh, very pleasantly surprised with how nice it feels. A very, very light tablet. I believe it weighs, uh, let's see, weighs 11.11 uh, .11 ounces. Uh, so it's a very light tablet. Uh, we're going to set it down to the side so we can dive further into the box. And right here, you've got your quick start guide for your Nook HD. It says, welcome to your Nook HD. And open it up uh, if you're... Looks like it's going to be very helpful if you're a first-time tablet user, uh, so you've got that if you need it. Let's go ahead and try to pull some more stuff out of the box. Uh, right here, we have our AC wall outlet adapter, and here we have our proprietary charging cable for the Nook HD. Uh, usually, we see micro USB charging ports and cables for Android tablets and smartphones, but the Nook HD does have a proprietary one, so you might want to keep that in mind uh, when you do consider purchasing the device. So the Nook HD... It does have a 7-inch screen with a pixel resolution of 1440 by 900 with 243 pixels per inch. It's 7.70 by 5 inches by 0 0.43 inches and weighs in, as we said, 11.11 .11 ounces. Bottom of the device, you've got your physical home button. On the right side, you've got your volume rocker right there. And on the left, you've got your power slash lock button right there. On the bottom of the device, you've got your microphone pinhole of uh, charging port, and uh, to the left of the charging port, you have got your micro SD card slot holder, which allows you to expand the memory on your Nook HD up to 64 gigabytes, which would be incredible if you'd like storing a lot of your movies and mo books and all that locally on your hand device. Top, you've got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and another microphone pinhole. On the back, uh, below that, you've got your nice uh, speaker grill right here, which would deliver some nice sounding audio. And again, this back has a nice soft touch feel, and it really feels quite comfortable in the hand. One of the most comfortable 7-inch tablets, really tablets in general, I've ever held. So we're powering the device on. And while it's turning on, let's run through some quick specs of the Nook HD. So as we mentioned before, it has a pixel resolution of 1440 by 900, 243 pixels per inch. It's 11.11 uh, .11 ounces. It's running Android 4.0.3 Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, except it is layered with Barnes & Noble's own custom user interface. Uh, it's got a 1.3 gigahertz dual core Texas Instruments OMAP 4470 processor, along with one gigabyte of RAM. So the device is loading up still, even the Nook logo. Uh, it seems like it's going to be a very beautiful display. Uh, so it's loading up right now for the first time. A 1.3 gigahertz dual core, uh, not the fastest out there. Why dual core is still pretty great, and 1.3 gigahertz is uh, respectable for the price point. Uh, I'm a little concerned how the gaming performance is going to be. Uh, hopefully, it turns out good. Uh, but it looks like the device is turned on now. It says welcome back, and this is our lock screen for the Nook HD. What's great about the Nook HD is that it has you can have multiple users of the device. So if you have a family, you want to share the device with multiple multiple people in your household, you can do that and make sure that only certain people have access to the content they really want to enjoy. So uh, looking at the Barnes & Noble's custom user interface for the first time, looks pretty easy to use. you got a little mini carousel right there, uh, kind of like we saw on Amazon's Kindle Fire and Kindle Fire HD with their custom user interface. Uh, right here, you've got your 
app select oh we yeah, accidentally select pac-man but right here you've got your selection of all the applications installed on your device i like how they've got the big bright icons makes them very easy to see and again you get your little carousel right here uh do we have notifications i think uh, looks like if you tap on that, you've got quick access to your settings, you've got brightness adjustment, Wi-Fi settings, airplane mode, lock rotation, or an option to go to all of the settings. So let's go ahead and go to our library. And from the library, you have access to all the books that are on the device. You can slide through them. You've got your magazines, movies, and TV shows, and apps. So let's go ahead and see how a magazine looks on the Nook HD. And we're going to look at, that's right, it's Bill freaking Murray. Uh, Bill freaking Murray's mustache and beard and face have never looked better on a 7-inch tablet. Not sure how often you can actually say that, but they've never looked better. So sliding through, it uh, looks like we're not getting a transition effect or a 3D one like I thought we would. Uh, but in, anyway, still looks pretty good. And okay, there's a lady right there. Uh, all you 13-year-old boys, please don't stop the video at that part because I know what you're going to be doing. Uh, but moving on, we're going to slide through the naked lady, and it uh, seems like a pretty good experience. Uh, looks like you cannot view it in a landscape mode, which is kind of odd. Uh, it might just be a setting that's screwed up. Uh, but magazines seem like a pretty good experience on the Nook HD. Let's go ahead and go to our library, and let's go up to, what should we look at? Uh, let's take a look at a book and see how it runs. Let's go ahead and read The Walking Dead. Never seen the TV show or read the comics, so uh, you know, might as well uh, test it out here on our video. So with the books on the Nook HD, it looks like we do have a nice 3D page transition effect, uh, which is really nice. Uh, it kind of gives it more of an actual feel of a book that you are reading. If you go to the library again, let's go ahead and load up Sherlock Holmes and see how a video runs on the Nook HD's HD display. So let's uh, play from the beginning and turn it into a landscape mode. And it's loading up the video <coughs> right now. A uh, Warner Brothers Pictures logo. Uh, wow, the screen actually looks pretty incredible. Go ahead and turn off our umbrella light so you can see it better. Uh, but in person, this screen looks just beautiful. Uh, you might have to, you're probably going to have to see it in person yourself uh, to really get the full effect. But this is a gorgeous looking screen. Uh, Sherlock Holmes and Robert Downey Jr. have never, ever looked so much good on the screen. Seems like a bunch of actors, Bill Murray and now uh, Robert Downey Jr., all looking very sexy on the Nook HD. So if you need to have your male actors looking good on your 7-inch tablet, the Nook HD is definitely for you. And that is all the time we have for this episode of Mobile Cup of Joe. Uh, if you have the Nook HD or you're planning to get the Nook HD, I'll leave a comment down below and let us know what you think of the device or what you, if you have any questions about the device or you want to say hi, just want to say something about the Nook HD or other 7-inch tablets, please feel free to do that in the comments below. And if you like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button if you liked it. it. Takes one second to do so. Really up support the show. And if you want to show your support towards the show even more, I'd really appreciate it if you'd go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more Mobile Cup of Joe videos. And you guys all know that Mobile Cup of Joe is on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and more. And don't forget to check out our website at www.mobilecupofjoe.com for your latest mobile technology news. I'm Joe Martin from mobilecupofjoe.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.